Right, I've got a Dremel Model 800. It's the 10 volt basket model. And I had a problem where basically it was only working on number one. And you can't have just number one, it's no speed at all. Two and every other version wasn't working at all. I couldn't suss it out. I emailed Dremel, they said to get a new potentiometer. With, well, this whole mechanism attached to the back of the motor, all this circuit board comes with this. Anyway, I unsoldered this from the board, which is the potentiometer slash speedo, whatever you want to call it. It's a bit difficult, you've got to get the five connections off. There, 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 and there. Anyway, upon taking it apart, I pulled the potentiometer out. You need to take this blue stuff off the back of it first, which releases this thing with the numbers on it. Right. And then pull the potentiometer out of its housing and then in the back there I don't know whether you can see that you've got a bend and then a connection that disc there when you turn it from 0 to 1 it touches them two connections together down here below my nail but it wasn't touching them together that's the reason why I was getting no power so I bent it a little bit put it all back together and it seemed to work fine. Absolutely perfect. Right, uh, which way did it come out? I just remember when you put it or taking it apart, which way it goes back together. I marked it with a, this little black disc here. There's a little white a round dot in it. I scratched a line next to where the right dot is, so I know which way it was. And then I remembered on the potentiometer that the little tiny V groove in it there was at number 8. So all I've got to do, I know the potentiometer goes that way, so number 8 is going to be facing that way. So you just push that in. Then you need something to push that out where you push the disc down. That's going to turn it to zero, and the disc will just drop in. Yeah, it's dropped in. And I'll turn it back to eight. Put my potentiometer back in. Now, you won't need to melt that back over because once it's in the housing, it sits in this groove anyway. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I pushed all the connections up against the circuit, took the solder off and then pushed them up against the circuit board where I took it off and connected the battery. Make sure you connect the battery the right way around otherwise you can blow all the circuit. And it worked perfect. I turned it a little bit while I was holding it all and I've got potentiometer back again. All working. So if you have a problem with your Dremel where you lose all speed apart from number one that is the problem, it's in there. Or if it's permanently going, it's permanently connected. And you've just got to bend it back a bit. Anyway, hope it, you know, you can cure yours as easy as I cured mine. Although I've got to solder the bum thing back together there. Right, I've soldered the potentiometer back to the board. As you can see there. Uh, I'll connect it up, just make sure you test which way around the case goes. So it's that way around, so that'll be on the bottom, so it's plus on the battery next to the red wire. And here's my repair. It was only working on one when I started. Sweet! So if you ever get the problem, that's how you fix it inside that potentiometer.
And anyway, I tidied it all away, all my stuff. Just screwed this back together, put the end on. Uh, battery in, and there you should work. Yeah.